Welcome back to Yeah The Girls. We've got an exciting show today, ladies. Um, I'm just actually, we're upstairs, so change of scenery and I'm looking out and it's oh now gosh. raining. <laughs> It, it was very heck? horrid. It was honestly sunny, what, five minutes ago? So yeah, we trained in beautiful conditions. We did. It was terrible. a beautiful morning. But oh, anyways, I'm glad we trained like this during morning. training. We started yeah. getting, well, sorry. Uh, it was, probably not wasn't like raining that. that much, but we had a little sprinkle. Sun came but out. But then it was sunny, wasn't it? Oh, it was but who cares? Because sunny Gold Coast, Coast on this week. tomorrow. 27 tomorrow there. Woohoo. Love that. Yay. Anyways, we've got an exciting show today. We're just going to do a quick recap of Carlton. Um, we're obviously off to the Goldie this week. We'll do a little travel edition. Um, we'll have our amazing Jackie Perry on. She's playing 50 games this week, which is super exciting. Um, and we'll wrap it up with a bit of Which Cat Is That? And a bit of a preview for Gold Coast. So super exciting. But we'll start off as always with our sweet and sours of the week. Mm-hmm. Sweet and sours. I'll um, kick off yeah, this go. week. Gee. Because I want to get my first one out of the way, which is my sour, which oh. is I've just had, if you see me, or well, those who watch it, if you see me sitting here just like squeezing my cheeks. Oh no. Oh, no. Have you had wisdom your- tooth just like coming oh. and just an ache. Oh. And it's going all the way up and oh. down my bottom teeth. Yuck. Went up to my like eardrum earlier in the week and mm. I'm just, I, I think it's starting to get over the worst of it. Yeah. I'm hoping. You have to get it taken out at the end of the season. I will at the end of the season yeah. for yeah. sure. It's the second time it's happened, but my goodness, it like keeps me up at night. I'm just no. smashing. I'm actually sleeping up with a European pillow. Like I'm almost oh sitting up. Oh, like, that's girls. just awful. You know when you have a headache and you yeah. lie down, it's like the weight. It's yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Weight. Pressure. The pressure, yeah. yeah. Oh. I anyway. don't think there's anything worse no, than a toothache. toothache is it the is worst horrid. Thing you ever. can't do anything. Well, see that mm. and an earache. So yeah. when it started going up to my ear, I thought mm. oh, I'm no. not taking the double whammy. No. I don't know what's no, going no, on. No. Here. You so need to put the heat pack on the jaw. Sometimes that helps. That helps. Yeah, I haven't tried that. Try so. that out. So that's 100 percent my that sour. Is a sour. <laughs> that is a sour. That is a sour. That's my toothache. But my sweet would have to be. It's pretty simple. But on um, Monday we do our. A uh, bit of running, and then we go into the gym. And um, off the back last weekend, uh, just a couple of us. So I was with Meg and Abby. We did. Um, I only did half the scrimmage on the weekend, so we did some skills out on the track, and then followed up with um, a bit more running. And even it wasn't something that was necessarily set for all of us, but you know, Meg, Meg had this running, and Abby. Would go, I said, "I'm happy to do it with you." Abby goes, "Well, not. I'm here," and that. it was just a really. I guess I would just say really wholesome um, Mm -hmm. moment in time. You know, we were debriefing a bit of the result on the weekend and just sort of looking ahead and those two have been massive support for me over the last couple of weeks. So um, it was just really nice to flush out the legs, have a bit of a kick Mm -hmm. around and in just really good company um, and two people who, yeah, I just couldn't be more grateful for how they've supported me. So it was a really sweet little, um, yeah, a little bit of, I don't know. I feel like it's hard enough as it is, like, having to do the extra running. Yeah. yeah, And then, like, having yourself and um, little labs just to be – Just doing it on my own and I was like, this is so so hard. So, So, no, very nice to do it all together. Do you ever feel like in a moment like that – I know I've had it a few times here – it's like when you spend time with, like, your good friends or your childhood friends and you go home and you're just like – I just love them and that was just the best time. (laughs) It's kind of like that, I reckon, and we get that a lot here, I think, because Mm -hmm. obviously love you all. So it's that relatability of things. You know what I mean? Like you're sort of sitting with someone and you're having a conversation, like even us having a chat the other night. I was just like – Do you know what? I actually looked over at you two at dinner and I thought (laughs) – I just – it makes me, my heart whole, just seeing seeing that happen. Shani That's sent so me sweet. a video and she filmed us and we're so in combo. Like I've, got, <laughs> I've got the wog hands out like, <laughs> talking. So it was hilarious. It was pretty funny. Oh, the best. <laughs> I'll get into my sweet and sour of the week. Um, my sour of the week, I've kind of got randomly two. I – Kind of stuffed up my ankle a little bit on the weekend. So I bit of had a bit of a fat oh, yeah. cankle this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's feeling a hundred bucks though. So I cannot complain. I was there. honestly shocked when you did full session Tuesday because it was like well bruised <laughs> and swollen. But I think structurally fat. it was really good. Yeah. So um, yeah. it was just the swelling and the bruising. I think it was a bit dramatic. But <laughs> I mean, it looks good now though. It looks it's really great. good. So that was one of my sours of the week. And then also randomly, my, my poor toenail. Like, oh, don't. Not oh. a big one. <laughs> Not my big one, but like the second from the pinky toe has just decided it doesn't want to live its life anymore. Oh. So oh. I've it's time. It's pretty much off, but like half off. Like oh. <laughs> sorry, oh. sorry for the TMI, but um, 
I'm not looking forward to going to get a petty and, you know, the side eyes from, yeah. Yeah. from the gals in there. So, yes. anyway, Rest assured, I will not be looking at your toes. So, no. don't even worry. <laughs> oh, anyways, they're my sows of the week. Is that not the worst thing going in as an athlete in footy boots constantly to get a pedicure? And I'm embarrassed. You know when they get, like, the grater and that out? And yeah. you're like, I'm sorry, you can't do that because nah. I've just hardened my feet up for yeah. my footy boots. <laughs> you can't take all that good work away. Nah, I totally get that. Anyways, I enough don't quite feet understand. Talk that's but disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds awful. Um, Anyways, my sweet of the week, um, which is almost every week that I just, you know, I forget to t- say on the pod, but my housemates, Remy Tyler and Kelsey, every post every game, leave me a cute little note on the side of my bed with Aww, like a no, cute little stop. tree or um, I think round one, the girls got me like a, um, a couple of Krispy Kreme donuts oh, and a cute, cute. Little, cute. cute little note sort of saying. Bless them. Yeah. Nice. Well done on a great game and a That's great gorgeous. season ahead and. Aww. You know, like I come home and I'm just like, that is just so sweet. It's like, so thoughtful. And just, yeah, so that always puts me in a great mood going to bed, whether we win, lose or draw. So that is beautiful. That is That's my is little lovely. sweet beautiful. every week. Oh, so very nice. love you guys if you're yeah. listening. Well, my sour um, of this week is, well, two weeks ago, the biggest elbow into the eyebrow, mm-hmm. like, you know, the bone oh, on your yeah, eyebrow yeah. that anyway, popped instantly. Literally, and I looked like out? I had a massive yeah. egg on my head. <laughs> anyway, it has been bloody sore to touch. So I was supposed to have an eyebrow appointment and now I'm rocking the biggest <laughs> monobrow at the moment. You know what, sometimes though you've left your brows a bit and then like it almost like looks better yeah, when you go get them done because they're, they're a like bit a little thicker. bit bushy. I'm I like, love yeah, this. this is working well. But anyway, I'm going tonight, so that's oh, exciting. Um, so but I've had to rock hilarious. about a week of a monobrow, so that oh. hasn't been great. Um, but my sweet of the week, last week I chatted to you guys how I got Killers tickets. This yes. week I got Hosier tickets. Oh my so God. Where is the invite? <laughs> um, so he's actually my favourite singer of all. Oh, well, my God, I love this. Not of all time, but mm. at the moment. And so, yeah, I am very, very excited to see him live. When's he playing? Well, he's in November and he's got a couple yep. dates. So, it's going to depend on training, obviously, yeah, and, yeah. and all that. But he has one song that is my favourite song of all time. Give which us is, the world. Well, it's called Work Song. I can't sing it because he's amazing. <laughs> and it's going to be like my wedding or funeral song. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> both. Um, make it both. Both. But it's just, it's a beautiful <laughs> song and I cannot wait to hear that live. So, that's my sweet this week oh god sorry the polar opposite (laughs) either the funeral or a wedding (laughs) no but if you listen to the song it's like this could be used at a funeral this could also be used at a wedding so yeah versatile yeah Yeah. i love that (laughs) work girls anyways we should probably um address the elephant in the room and talk about the carlton game Mm. we can't you know we we were off on the weekend and not a reflection on our um standards as a team i think um I and think that just come down to contested ball really yeah. and i think um, bowie put it really well in our review mm. saying that it was very uncharacteristic yeah, was of us yeah. um so yeah we've you know we've reviewed what we needed mm-hmm. to and set our um sights against this week anyway yep. and, and moving forward but let's reflect on the game um a little bit yeah so i couldn't well it was definitely a melbourne day it was sunny it was hailing it was raining <laughs> sideways it was windy everything and mm. not to make that an excuse at all because both teams had to play in it um yep. but it is it is when you're trying to win a contested ball and that's already hard enough as it is mm. and you've got sideways rain and hail coming at you yep. um trying to generate our run and spread and speed off the back of the contest can be challenging yes. um but yeah Carlton just played to the conditions a lot better than mm. us um and their contested ball work was was elite as well so we cannot take a take away from them and their midfielders were Oh, elite. They, the they were very good. Yeah, so the we, standard, yeah. that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we we can't forget that Croc. Croc was amazing yep. on the mm-hmm. weekend. I thought her her ability to win a contested ball when yep. not many of us could um, was elite. Her work rate all day and just to sort of like <coughs> keep the team. No, rolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, s- yeah. I did hear when, like, when you guys came in at half time, and and her voice was already instant from the moment that you guys yeah. stepped into the room, into the room there. And and one of the things about Croc is she doesn't, um, I guess, shy away yeah. when when either something needs to be said or on or, or in her own game when it's like, oh, I just need to put my head over the ball here. This isn't good enough. Yeah. Um, but because she leads by action, the respect mm. of when you do hear her voice, everyone, you know, what Listen I really noticed and, and we've spoken a bit, you know, in the uh, review on Monday <laughs> is 
the effort really dialed up. And sometimes that can happen in a way where you're going, I'm trying my best, but in each individual trying their best, then it mm-hmm. can break down the system yeah. in, in another way, mm-hmm. in a different way. Yeah. But um, but you definitely could see the intent shift. And, and I do think, you know, there was words thrown up when Croc won our Geelong way around, you know, yeah, that leadership that she showed. And I think it really comes because her actions are there, that, yes. that when her voice comes, you just... You hear it and you want to respond. Mm -hmm. And that was seen. It it didn't quite, you know, all click together then. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it should discredit that people didn't go out then with an intent to try and, and, you know, make it better. And as defenders, we know how important that wing support is Mm -hmm. um, in our game. And um, I thought Croc did that really well on the weekend. There was a couple of times where she saved my backside in a one-on-one. So, yeah, um, yeah, just her intent all day um, Mm -hmm. really made her deserving of the Geelong Way this week. And credit to everyone, I think, rolling into this week. Yeah. And I th- it's a it's a Geelong – when I think of the whole club, that it, mm. it's what is, I guess, expected or the standard of a Geelong person and a Geelong player is win, lose or draw. You don't know when everyone steps back in on Monday. And mm. I think that the group really took that in their stride this week. And each training session has been really sharp. Mm-hmm. Oh, great energy yeah. levels. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so even that in seeing where we've gotten to that – you know, you're not carrying that through. You address no. it head on and then everyone's in a really good space it's, to move forward. It's been an optimistic week. So, yeah, yeah we're looking 100%. forward to another challenge this week. 100%. And I think, like, for us, um, when we go away from our, you know, four Cs, our connected, combative... Competitive. <laughs> competitive. Consistency. Consistency. Thank yeah. you. I went the wrong way. So <laughs> when we go away from that, our, um, you know, that's our baseline and when everything else sort of flows off the back of that so when that's off a little bit um Mm -hmm. you know the quicker that we can respond and get onto that and you know the way that we've trained this week has really shown that so exciting to bring that against Gold Coast this weekend in the nice warm sunshine yes Yes. can't wait but no as we know girls we're off to the beautiful sun and what better way to chat about that than all our travel essentials (laughs) and (laughs) travel edition this week so um Let's get started and talk about what everyone's travel essentials are mm. when we're going away on these trips because it's so fun. I love being around it everyone is. in yeah, the travels. It's great it's the best. Fun. Do you want to kick us off, Good? I'll kick us off. <laughs> kick us off. I'm a low-key nerd, so I <laughs> have to have to have my offline word games. Oh yes, on, what on are flight. they? On um, flight, oh, it's just this this app called Offline Games. Oh. And <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> I reckon that's, that's like it. <laughs> that's called <laughs> offline word games. Oh God, um, and, yeah, there's things like, you know, like you've got to unscramble the words, guess the letters, scrabble, all that you're stuff. You're very good at that, um, you the know, nine the, letter the nine-letter word. Letter word oh, one. I play it every single day. I love it. And Wordle, all, all that stuff. New York Times, thank you. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's definitely one of my essentials. And then my other essential to pack in my bag is my hair clay gel because oh, I've wow. got to have this slick pack pony to play so the bit of um the clay gel which i stole from my brother so he's probably looking for that for (laughs) the last six months Um, actually i reckon last time you said about when you travel yeah do you take the communal toothpaste oh yeah i i take the toothpaste and then when my brother was living at home with me he used to crack it (laughs) so he's not there anymore so i can take it freely now but (laughs) I always used to think that hotels would have toothpaste, but they don't anymore. That is one thing have that they should have. I don't yeah. think I've ever expected the hotel. To really? Have they used to do little tubes. Yeah, they used really? to do little tubes. So, uh, anyway, pack your you toothpaste, go. ladies. So, yeah, they're my essentials. I love that. What about you, G? What are oh, your travel essentials? I honestly don't have much. I need my AirPods. That's yes. that's yes. definitely a baseline for me. Um, and then I'd probably say I. It's things like. I just have to have a fresh hair wash, mm-hmm. yes, like, which one. is interesting because I like a fresh hair wash the day of the travel, but I also like a fresh hair wash on game You're day, which is up. really yeah. controversial. Yeah. So what are you going to um, do this week? Well, I did a fresh hair wash today. Oh. So I was all out of whack, so I might just let it flow on tomorrow and then wash it for game, yeah. game day. Wash it game day. Um, you won't have a lot of time game day morning, yeah. will you? Like, I'll, I'll always make early. time. Always yeah, yeah, make yeah. time. Always. And then I'd say I've jumped on the puzzle book bandwagon mm-hmm. so i've got one of the mixed puzzles books yeah, Ooh, love. um been starting those ones at home yep. and i think that will definitely be coming most of the time i do like to pack just not my like journal journal but i like to have some sort of notebook because yeah. if i yeah. get really nervous while i'm there i just like to write it all out I like yeah it. so that'll be in my back pocket but the newest edition is my my mixed puzzle book 
Mixed I love puzzles. that. Ooh. I feel like I'm similar to you girls. I like the little games, like yeah. the little Sudokus, or mm-hmm. I feel like Nina and Meg always bring something that I chime in on, yeah. <laughs> which is always. good. Um, mm. Got to have my water bottle as always. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that flight where and you had that water bottle <laughs> <laughs> and you were sitting next to this random <gasps> and we're mid flight? What was that when we went to Sydney? Yeah, yeah. and you opened the straw and, and it went fountain of water. Just shot up pouring oh over this God. poor guy so sorry. next to him. And he like, just so copped so it. Oh, I just remember wetting my pants. It was hilarious. <gasps> oh, oh, no. So funny. That's why I think I'm going to bring this because it's a straw. Yeah. But then also... You can't put up. it in your you can't put it in your bag when uh, it's full. You know what I mean? Yes. Yep. Anyways, I love my water bottle, so got to bring that. Um, some gum, some mints, my coffee oh, yeah. on the way, in, in, in the in the Virgin Lounge. Yeah, got to have the Virgin Lounge free coffee. Maybe a cheeky cookie. Oh my god, I know <laughs> that they are they so are the good. Best. Um, so yummy, and like a nice little face mask for the way home. I think. Oh, I love that. Very that good. Be good, but I do have a story about in-flight entertainment. Mm. Do you girls listen to music, podcasts, audio books? What are your What are your vibes I'm for the flight? Definitely a Spotify download all my playlists. Usually playlists that get me in the feel, so you can look out the window and yes. really. Oh my god, I'm really in the music feel video, it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, I'm definitely one of those. Yeah, yeah love that. I I am also that good, <laughs> and I I I can relate. Like so hard because especially when you got the windows. Yeah, the windows just the best. fits perfectly. Yeah. It's the best. You got a bit of the script playing and like it's just yeah, <laughs> no, it's great. Well, I would early days. Um, I went over to WA for a footy carnival when I was young, and I thought the same thing. I wanted to be that moment where you're sitting in the window, listening to your playlist, looking out. And I didn't realize that I had only downloaded one song. Oh <laughs> shit! And to no. WA is a solid four and a oh, half no, hours, Becky. five hours. So. I, what was the song? <laughs> Five more hours. We're just getting started. You, <laughs> you had. Like, girls, what's it called? And now every time it comes on, so I, I, I raw dogged it the whole way and oh listened to this one song God. on repeat because I was like, well, I can't play my phone. I've got no internet. I didn't know oh what no. I was doing and I was like, well, I've got to listen to something. Oh so girl. I listened to that one song the whole way there. What a fitting song. Five more hours of I your know. bloody flight to go yeah. to oh. listen to that one song. And... Wow. Now, every time I hear that song, I'm, oh. please skip it. I'm sorry. It's a great song, but I, I can't. can't. <laughs> I actually can't. So That's, um, please make sure you download your playlist. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that one song that keeps coming up when you connect your phone to your car yes. on your Apple Music and I can't stand it. It's oh Price God. Tag by Jessie J. Ah. Mine is oh. mine's bloody Live While You're Young by One oh, Direction. Bang up. I've got the live version of that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't it. even know why I have oh, that song. That, hey, don't diss one day. They were my, my childhood. Oh, well, then we'll, we will all be set now that we know. This is, yeah. I'm going to take this home. This is my list. Yeah. I know. Yeah. We'll, be, we'll be packing for this afternoon and ready to go tomorrow. But... Super exciting to be up on the Gold Coast and also super exciting. We'll be chatting with Jackie Parry just around the corner, so stay tuned. (laughs) All right, we are back and joined with our beautiful Jackie Parry, who, exciting, 50 big ones this weekend. Jackie, how are you feeling, my love? Feeling really excited. Feeling pumped and obviously up in the Gold Coast, so we're getting some lovely weather. Are you excited to be taking up a couple of your family members? Tom's coming up. Are you excited? Yeah, it's more than a couple. I've got... Oh, yeah, tell us all. uh, Two of my sisters coming up, mum and dad, Tom, and then a couple of family friends as well. Oh, my God, fun. I hope to see them in the crowd with a big sign or something, Jackie. (gasps) Have you put that pressure on? (laughs) Uh, you, you get a few signs every game. I swear, I see him in the crowd. Yeah, what was yeah, I feel like you had friends that travel. Parry party. No. Parry yeah, party. The yeah, parry I loved party. It. It's great. So good. But uh, no, fifty games. It's super exciting, Jack. How are you feeling about the week? Did you think, like, looking back, like, oh my god, I'm playing fifty games of AFLW? Like, it's pretty extraordinary. Yeah, I think um, it's been a pretty cool week in that sense. Like, being able to reflect back on my career. Um, all the highlights, even some of the challenges. Um, even looking back at my debut, like I was pretty lucky to debut at Marvel and the um, Bushfire release That's game. That's amazing. And I don't think, yeah, many other people could have experienced that for their no. debut. So, yeah, it's really cool to just look back at those moments and, um, yeah, have a bit of a smile. I loved watching the highlight reel and all the contested marks you were just taking. I'm yeah. like, this is great. This is Jackie. Even the um, score assistant. Yeah. Uh, oh, assistant. Assist queen. Assist. Score assist. assist. My goodness. Yeah, score yeah. assist queen. I love that. 
The goal celebrations though need a bit of work. <laughs> we need to work on those. But yeah, stop being so humble. shocked when you kick a goal, Jackie. No, honestly, she's, she's humble. It's more relief. To be honest <laughs> <with you. laughs> Take the breath, um, Jackie. You obviously um, played at Melbourne before coming um, over to the Cats, but obviously you're at your home now, and we love having you here. So, what has been your favourite part about being at the Cats? Oh, um, favourite part. Gosh, there's too many to count on one hand. Um, Favourite part? Hitting a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Was that too soon? <laughs> no, no, I still don't have my car back, so it's definitely not too soon. Um, Favourite part? I think last year, um, how far we got through finals was pretty amazing and I think it's just made us even hungrier. So um, winning those two finals and getting super close to Brisbane, um, yeah, I think that would probably be my highlight so far. Yeah, And I guess um, being a real vital part of our team as well. Um, and, you know, every week you're playing a really, really important role for us and it's probably nice for you to have that bit of continuity in your game now, um, whereas it, in the start of um, start of your career it's probably a little bit more up and down. So um, are you enjoying that side of things as well? Yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, just as you said, a bit of... Oh gosh, I don't want to say the word con- continuity. continuity. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think, and the position that Dan's got me playing, I think, is really suited to my school set. So I'm really grateful for that. And um, yeah, I think I have had a yeah pretty good run so far. Touch wood with injury as well, so I haven't had uh, too many games away from the yeah. club since I started. And so flowing on from that, Jack, I can't actually see you. I'm, I'm yeah, trying. No, to I like <laughs> can't see your face. Yeah, my, <laughs> my big my head's in the, the way. <laughs> but um, you know, you chat about yeah, getting that continuity and being in that role that really is tailored to your your skills and your attributes. And probably looking at this preseason in the lead up, we you know had someone like Bowie who's rolled in quite new in there. Kate Kenny come along. You had the likes of you know Scott, Scotty was a bit late into our preseason. Lingy came in late. Darbs is flowing through the rock. So in terms of kind of that group that as you're talking about that rolled into the prelim it was quite a different look and I felt like your leadership amongst that group really stepped up and we obviously joke about the fact that we can't communicate with each other very well (laughs) but your communication to the rest of them was was just really exciting to see that growth is that something flowed naturally did you feel like it was um, the next step in maybe this next phase of your career Um, where did that sort of come from yeah I think um, it's always been something that I've tried to improve I think usually I'm quite quiet on the field um particularly my first like three or four seasons um but then yeah as you said there was a few different players coming through the forward line I guess if it wasn't me who was it gonna be (laughs) so um yeah it's actually been really cool to have to step into that role and um be a lot more vocal on the field and I think I've got really great players around me that listen and they also talk to me back so um yeah pretty privileged I feel like going through the pre-season, like, we obviously matched up a little bit, um, me playing in defence and you playing forward. So, I loved watching you sort of grow in that space and I think we sort of play that – you play that pivot role really vital for us and, um, you know, to communicate to the two people in front of you and then to sort of check in behind you to make sure that the Chiefs are doing their thing. Um, You know, you've taken that leadership to the next level this this season, Jack, and only great things um, to come as well throughout the season. And I can't wait to see a few few more goals from you as well, which will be exciting. And but can't wait to hear Jackie a bit more on the on the speakers as Jack, well. Jack, Jackie. My favourite song. <laughs> <laughs> but no, off to the Goldie, obviously, on the weekend. What are some of your travel essentials, Jack? What are you packing in the bag to make sure that it's the best weekend possible? Oh, I just don't pack all that many interesting <laughs> things, <laughs> you know? <laughs> the essentials, footy boots, mouth guard, kit... But, um, yep. No, I suppose I probably wouldn't go anywhere without my AirPods and my Kindle. I was going to say your Kindle. <laughs> Surely yeah. your Kindle is what, what are you reading? Out. Kindle comes everywhere with me. I can't go to sleep without it. I have yeah. to read. Before and your coffee and your keep cup. Oh, my keep cup. Very good. Very good point. I'm yep. I'm trying to get more people on board with bringing their keep cups yeah. to the interstate and trips. Containers. Um, Probably, yeah, no, definitely. I'll be looking at the three of you to see if you bring your keep cups this weekend. <laughs> um, no I'll see if I have room in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, awesome. And as we said, you've got your family coming up um, uh, on the weekend to the Goldie. Um, now, Tom is um, your partner and someone who we often see at every game. And if I don't see him um, in the crowd, I've seen him on Fox Footy in the background as well, <laughs> cheering on. So um, he's very, very supportive of you, supportive of us girls and supportive of women's sport and women's footy in general. Um, how does that feel for you to have someone like with such support like that? And um, is there things that, you know, are off limits that you don't talk about? Does he try to analyse your game? Um, yeah, how, how's that been? Um, yeah, I'm very, very lucky. He's obviously such a supporter of uh, myself but also the wider competition. He pretty much watches every game every weekend, <laughs> which <laughs> I often draw the line at maybe one or two just so I can get my head off it. So <laughs> that's probably where I draw the line. But, um, yeah, he comes to most games for the season maybe there's one interstate game he'll miss due to you know flights and cost but um yeah he's a huge fan and um he runs with me in the off season and he works to keep me oh. fit oh. Uh, he goes gem. he goes for one run and he's already beating me so <laughs> i hate, hate that, that so much <laughs> oh, <men. Genetics>. men. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's lovely that's beautiful so if everyone's going what about your golden child what's happening with rafa I know. Yeah, great question. Uh, I probably thought about it too late, <laughs> but <laughs> Lauren Camp, one of my, my best friends, she has... She's yeah, a puppy duty. She's going to be on puppy duty. She's got a massive golden retriever herself, so oh. um, it may be mayhem for her, but looking forward to the updates. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, that. So cute. What do you do outside of Jack to sort of keep away from footy and, um, you know, occupy your mind elsewhere? Uh, as in hobbies or yeah. employment? Oh, well... <laughs> We know so you're an accountant. Sort of yeah. like your eat, sleep, work, train, repeat these days. I don't know about yeah, you, but I'm a bit like, like that. that. Yeah. Um, but you've just got a new house, have you not? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yes. true, actually. I guess interior design. You'd love to. Um, <laughs> Play some golf with me <laughs> in Croc. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kunj is a very handy golfer. No, I don't know I'm if not. that's popped up on the potty before, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I guess a bit of golf. Even Nina tries to teach me to surf sometimes and Rankin. She's we haven't been out. We surfer. have not been out in a hot minute. <laughs> we actually had set a little goal, me and Jackie, um, as I was getting back into surfing and she was starting that you, in the back of the car, surfers have like a tub where they throw all their wet stuff. And me and Jackie had just been like wrapping it up in our towels and sitting <laughs> in the back of the car. So we'd set this goal that if we did, what was it, Jack? Two? I think it was once a fortnight. Once a fortnight, then we would go out on a trip together and buy our own tubs own which buckets. we we oh, haven't yeah. done that was like four months ago i reckon we set that goal Girls, so. you can get that from kmart come on <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. oh that's no, great well jack um you probably are aware last time you might have been on the pod that we play a game called which cat is that um but i'll run you through anyway what that involves so basically we've got someone in mind one of our teammates and we're going to run through a series of clues um there'll be eight clues and you can guess at any time um that you like in those clues um so you might want to get in first and beat the other two here um but we need your buzzers as well so um so g you want to kick us off with your buzzer I was going to go something different, but I thought you might start at the other end. So I'll just stick with Yeehaw. Love that. What, what was that what? one that I said I was going to do? Wow, that one. Well, no, I always do that one. Was oh, you always do that. One? What was the I other one? one? I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know. You just Meow. embarrassed me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And Jack, what's yours? I, got, I can't top those. <laughs> <laughs> you need <laughs> one. Um, it's essential. Oh. Uh, no, nah, give me one. Oh, what about the... Just do <laughs> Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just do Jack, Jack, Jackie. <laughs> okay, I'll go check. I can't do the, the have dog. You seen, <laughs> have you seen that guy that does the dog? Like, yeah. the and dog is like... Round round round. Round. <laughs> You know that one? You've got to do that, Jackie. Yeah, that's that's your <laughs> buzzer. Anyway, <laughs> but have you have you played? Ha, did you play last time, Jack? When yeah. you won? Yeah. Did you win? I did not. I think oh, you okay. won. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's great to know. <laughs> well, um, I'm excited. Because it's Come on. Gunj is just going anyone, so it's not like who's been done doesn't get yeah. done. Oh. Yeah. So oh. anyone. Yeah. That's yeah. Been literally. Went too soon last yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. And as you know, once you guess, if you get it wrong, you're out, and then the other. Other peeps have a go. So um, the current leaderboard is yeah, what's the G's in the lead on two, mm. Becky's on one, and <laughs> Ollie Dempsey last week got us guess a um, a First score. Point. So we need you to um, get up there again and beat beat these two. So we'll kick us off. Um, number one, this cat was the same age as their draft picked when they got picked. Draft pick when they got picked. Number two, this cat is the youngest of four. Oh, anyone want to go? 
Number three. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Can you just – sorry. Can you do the first one again? What was the yep. first one? So this cat was the same age as their draft pick when they got picked up. So the same number they got picked yep. up was as their, their okay, age. Okay, okay. Yep. All right. And then this cat is the youngest of four. Number three. This cat has an even jumper number. <laughs> I'm so shocking with numbers. Jersey numbers. Just have a look around the locker room. Number four. This cat used to play cricket. Meow. <laughs> Becky. Sorry. That was a, that that was was a really great. crisp sound. That no sound like there's a cat, cat in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go Julia Cocker Grills. No. No. It can is, I? Oh, nah, no. You, you can't revert. No, it got though. me right last minute. I didn't, wasn't going for Jules. Okay. It's not Croc. The other I two. wasn't going for Jules. I should have kept with my. G and Jackie. We're still in it. Number four. Did I say number four? Oh, this cat was the last one. Yeah. Yep. Number five, this cat came through the Coats League. Oh, now you tricked me out. I was going to go with Shani, but Same. I don't think she did that. Was it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 so that was the least impressive buzzer I've I ever heard. <laughs> Jackie, what's your answer? Shazzy. Uh, Shaz- wait, which one? Ma- uh, no! Oh. No, oh, so it's no, Mason. Yes. Oh. Oh. I had her on my mind. No, just keep going. Give me the next okay. one. Okay, <laughs> next one. This doesn't seem fair. This cat grew up in Melbourne. Uh, tell tell me all of them. Play it out now. And then last question. This cat is taller than me. This is Shit. Chantel Mason. Yes, yes. yes. I was no, actually going to go that on the. Um, what was the third one? I thought you meant. Sorry, I, I was down. going Emma. She what was the third one you had? Uh, the third one I had was this cat has an even jumper number. Yeah, once you said like the age and then even number because I was going through all the young – because I'm like it's got to be someone who was drafted young. Yeah. But who's got like within that – Within that, yeah. Oh. Well, good job, G. You're on Damn. three. Three. Mm-mm. I was really nervous that Jack was going to say Sean, but then when you said Chad, I was like, yes. Well, I thought she no, meant I Sean, so I winked at her. No, I know. <laughs> oh, when I, cha- oh, when I changed to uh, um, Croc, I yeah. was thinking Shani Emmonson oh, as well. Nah, I was like, Shani. oh, back She it is in. one of four before we get yeah. in trouble Yeah, with her, and right? she played yeah. cricket too. <laughs> yeah, good. And no, wait, what's she's the jumper number? No, I'm five. No, I thought she has three sisters and a brother. She's five. <laughs> this is why I was confirming. Anyway, guys, the anyway, main anyway. thing is <laughs> I got the win. So yes, G1, I'm going Very strong. good. Very good. Oh, uh, damn. At least I, at least I had a cr- good crack. Yeah, you better did. crack than Jackie's You're buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, that, anyways. All right, good to wrap up, Jack. But you're going to stick around because we're going to do our game preview this week. Um, we've got some exciting – obviously, travelling together is so fun, as it always is. Always. Um, mm. But we've got some extra exciting news. We've got an amazing announcement, debutante, this week. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Jay, do you want to touch on who oh, our debutante this a is A fellow this week? Gold Coast girl, um, a girly Thorny. Queen. Caitlin Thorne will be debuting for us, which is just awesome. She's also coming off the back of a great week, which was making VFLW Team of the Year on the mm-hmm. wing there um, and has had an unreal preseason. Obviously, Dan spoke to us, you know, in the in the meeting room just around the contested pressure that she brings and her press and she is just her – her tackle intent is mm-hmm. just everyone sticks. And when it's coming at you, you're, you're going to get bowled over pretty much. Yeah. Bold, bold. That's the word I was looking <laughs> for. Bold over. But um, I think I said, you know, back in our very first episode, just her infectious energy that she brings, always a smile on her face, which is quite nice because then when she does cross that line and turn into a fierce competitor, mm-hmm. it's, it's something that you – you get really excited by and um, and probably inspired by at the same time with the sort of um, work rate that she puts out there. So very, very excited for her. And also we, we love the stories of someone coming through the pathways and yep. earning their stripes to make their way onto an A4W mm-hmm. list um, to then yeah. be able to play is huge. And yeah, su- such a gutsy player. And, um, yeah, I think we're very excited to have her on our team. Um, but another fellow Gold Coaster, G Rankin, are you excited to be up there and with your fam <gasps> and everyone? It's going to be good. great. It will be very nice to go home. The weather up there has obviously been amazing, as it always is. So, um, And there's quite a few of us sticking around. Like, yeah. Gunj, you're staying. Yeah, I'm staying. Jack, not. you're staying the extra. Sure. I think there's... Oh, my God, I'm missing <laughs> out. <laughs> Who yeah, got? There's on, Bowie, Becky. Croc. Yeah. Someone else, Thorny, Spud. There's quite a few. So, yeah. honestly, the I next morning this. we'll probably be following up with another 
debrief for the game and, and coffee. beach session. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Coffee yeah. Any Very coffee nice. recommendations, G? Well, we have – the fam have recently moved to Broadie, which is where we're, oh, we're staying. Perfect. So we go to a little one called Rafiki, um, which is just – From the Lion King? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Rafiki <laughs> yeah, Is that where it's from? Yeah. It is from Lion King, yes. Yeah. No, super um, exciting yes. and great to have Thorny on the team and show her um, – her fierce competitiveness, which is also exciting. But how are we feeling about um, playing the Gold Coast? We're same points. Mm-hmm. They've randomly drew as well on the weekend. So, yep. and we're all chasing a win. So, yeah. super exciting to, um, you know, get down and dirty and get that contested ball going our way because that's something that we sort of, as we touched on earlier, um, lacked last week. So, not to give Gold Coast any heads up, but we're going to be coming in hot. Yep, and hopefully perfect conditions, a mm-hmm. um, little bit warmer and hopefully no hail like last <laughs> week. So um, very much looking forward to that and keen to see Jackie kick a bag of yeah. goals. Have you played at Metricon before, Jack? Yeah, I actually have a couple of times. It's funny, you haven't I played with us ground? though, have you? No, I reckon no. the last time I played the Gold Coast, I was at the D's playing Spud. Really? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, that's so funny. She had a great game. Moment. I remember yeah. it vividly. Yeah, uh, she probably did. She send you something when you were first coming because I had the when Spud got drafted. She sent me a photo of her taking a mark on me <laughs> and really like to remind me <laughs> of did that you one. Did she send something to? She Meg sent something to, to like Meg too. Tackled or something. Yeah. So I thought maybe you got <laughs> that as well, Jack. But obviously not. No, it must have been me taking a mark on her or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, we're super excited. Uh, Obviously, we play Saturday at 12.05, which will be a great little segue into the men's prelim final on the weekend as well, which sadly, I will be on the plane. I will be watching. The game, I so will watch. Hopefully, I can get some internet up there and watch another great... <laughs> From the sky. <laughs> From the sky. <laughs> Can't you not buy internet on the plane? Oh, I hope can. so. Surely, you'll fly you over the G. Just get yeah, in the hover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can a plane hover? Probably not. Have but a little <laughs> ski, But good but luck to the boys. We're super... Um, Super pumped for them. Yeah, yeah, really, really pumped for them. And obviously they were in great form when they last played. We've seen them around the place going, you know, um, super professionalism and, and what they've thrown out on the track. So um, It's we'll infectious, isn't it? Yeah, sort of yeah like very when, much so. When your, um, your men or your women's team are going really well and they're playing yeah. well, it just sort of filters through the club. Good vibes. It? So good Absolutely. vibes. Yeah. But super excited. Fly out tomorrow. Do you know what I've Small noticed? Weather. Sorry, we all say... So we're super excited. Yeah. I, just, I just heard us say it each person. Because we are. <laughs> we are. We are just super, super excited about everything. Excited. Oh, <laughs> but anyways, awesome. thanks for joining us, Jack. Yeah. And we will see you next week. Tune in to our Gold Coast game. Yeah.